Hey, I'm Minty Oreos, also known as Lacey Stacy, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel that has been around for almost 10 years. 10 years. Hoof. Hoof. Dang. So, so. Hey, all fam. Happy New Year. So, this is a more relevant clip that I wanted to add into my update video. I ended up filming my update video like more than 10 times because I was trying to also make a channel intro. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be just posting this update. And then I'm going to be cutting sections out of the update and then making a channel intro because I've been on here for 10 years. And I think the 10 year mark on YouTube, <laughs> my channel finally deserves an intro. <laughs> I also wanted to add um, Cherry Bomb Mom, who I collaborated with in the past. She's suffering from um, Lyme's disease and in order for her to get treatment, uh, and help this stage that she's going through. Uh, she started a GoFundMe, so I'll have the link in the description down below. If you could donate like a dollar or anything, it would really help her out a lot. I would really appreciate it. It would make my life if you could help her out. She's such a sweet lady. She's a wonderful mom vlogger who has a very kind heart, so. Once again, if you could contribute to her GoFundMe, I would really appreciate it. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I've been stalling this video for way too long, and I just keep having to add to it the further I stall it. Forcing myself back out of anxiety, talking to a camera in high quality. It's a big reason why I... Since I hadn't been uh, weekly posting on YouTube, I'd been uh, streaming on you now. If you noticed a lot in the past, I was I was daily streaming for a period of time. That was when uh, uh, I had posted a video on my channel that said something bad had happened. Something happened to me. I privated that video on my channel that I posted. I can say that the situation that happened, I had accepted it and I'm moving forwards. I don't really want to talk too much into detail about it. I appreciate everybody's concern. When the time is right, I may talk about it, but right now, I just, it feels really nice to move forwards and be healthy. Um, from the trauma that I, I had went through from that situation. You know, it, it helped me, uh, stay out of the isolation and anxiety that was increased from going through the mental crap when the situation had happened. I have wanted to go on Twitch for a while. So, I have started a Twitch channel, if you guys don't know already. I just haven't really streamed on there much recently. Sup fam. So, it's like, I want to say two and a half weeks later. <laughs> I ended up being well for about a week and a half. And then, I got hit with a really bad flu. Regardless of the fact that I got a flu shot. I'm still quite sniffly right now. Um, but it's on its way out. My voice got shot, uh, throughout the duration I got sick. It was the first time I've ever had a severe sore throat like that. So, out of the severity, I ended up going to the hospital. Because I was, I was freaking out, having anxiety. Because I'd never experienced having a sore throat and not being able to breathe comfortably even medicated um it was really painful to breathe and it was just I was really worried 
and I guess there had been people in the ER with the same thing I had. I just didn't get it in full. Um, but yeah, I'm back now. Um, I'll be back streaming again as well, too. I have a new streaming schedule, if you guys don't know already, which is also why I thought I'd make this, like, more relevant update clip. Void of the fact I tried to put another relevant update clip in there. You know, that's okay. That's alright. Like, sometimes things happen in life. And you can't really do much about it aside from work with what's up, and that's okay. Um, I'm streaming on Twitch now from Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I'll be on you now Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Sorry about my dog playing with his toy. <laughs> I just woke up, so don't don't mind like what's going on here. I just got out of the shower. I have to cool my hair. Uh, but I'm just doing editing right now. So that is my 2019 streaming schedule. I also will still be doing random streams on random times and random days. I don't have a time schedule yet. For my stream schedule, I'm going to be incorporating in a time schedule as I get a better understanding of my own schedule flow with all the other things that I'm incorporating into my life. Right now, things are a little bit hectic because of some things going on that have to be sorted out. And once they get... Um, out of the way, uh, it'll be a lot easier to see clearly um, the main things that I'll be focusing on and um, a vague idea of what works the best time range. So, yeah, stay tuned for that shit. You guys don't know already, YouTube has added new features to the platform which are really interesting. There's moments and there's a community board which you can access on desktop and mobile. And it's like a little tab in the top, kind of like when you go and you look on like my channel description crap. And then there's a section that says community. And like I can, I can throw little updates in there. And basically what I did was I put an update of me in the ER about I want to say like a, over a month ago now I was sick for about a month and I had anticipated coming back to YouTube when I ended up getting sick I had Halloween content planned I was super stoked on so I had to just say no and instead I posted a video that I filmed last Halloween which was gory, some gory ass nails. Cause I had some questions on stream and things, uh, how I did them. So I thought I would share that. As some of you guys may know, I mentioned this in streams, but I've never really said this in a video. I do media work. So I had recently started a media company this year. So that's, GMO Fuel, which is my, also my Twitch name, because, I mean, I couldn't get minty Oreos on there, somebody took it, so, you know, like, I can just use the, the trademark that I own instead. Which is pretty cool, but, I, uh, because of the things that had happened to me this year, I had some setbacks with, like, production and things, and I mean, like, it's, it's fine in my mind because I never gave you guys any date or I had no mental deadline of of when I was gonna do all these things that I was sharing with you guys that I'm still gonna be doing <laughs> things that I wanted to do like years ago I'm still going to be doing oh my goodness and I didn't forget about things um I've been working on some stuff that I'm going to be showing you guys one bit at a time as things are ready, but I'm really excited to be back. Hope you guys are stoked to see some new content coming up. So you guys are probably wondering why I was in the ER and such. I actually still don't know what was wrong with me. I feel a lot better now. I had a severe pain and nausea going on i just out of nowhere i just had some really bad like it felt like gas cramps and then it escalated to a, a nine out of ten in pain so i was in and out of the er from that 
it was very hard to um, function in general. I was so nauseated all the time. So I was just in a perpetual state of anxiety because I have emetophobia, which is an irrational fear of vomit. So when I feel nauseated, I, I can't do anything. Like, I just, I, I'm not, I don't really talk. Um, I'm just trying to calm myself through the anxiety so I'm not like shaking and like, yeah, just doing my best to cope. So I just took it easy for the most part. I was really bloated as well too. It was just like a constant pain. And it, every time I would eat, it would, my stomach would just bloat and I would be in pain. I could barely eat for a while because the pain was so bad. There was a, f I went to the ER about four times and they thought that I had like gastritis, a peptic ulcer or a gallbladder problem. My gallbladder, the ultrasound results came back as it's all good and happy. I have, I have a happy appendix too. I just recently got a test for H. pylori, which is like a breath test. So that would be H. pylori is essentially a uh, type of bacteria, I th a bacteria, I don't know if it's a bacteria in particular, but it's a, it's a virus thing, I don't, I don't know what to call it virus either, there's like different types of things that can make things angry on our insides, but this, this uh, triggers uh, peptic ulcers, so uh, I think I got the results for that back yesterday because I got a notification on my phone. It's just kind of strange. I'm hoping that I just caught like some kind of bug or I had some kind of form of food poisoning that was just temporary because I mean, if, if that problem hit me again, mm, like mm, that oh, travel insurance. <laughs> It's a wise decision, guys. I also started a new streaming channel. Some of you guys may have noticed my Yuna streams no longer show up on my YouTube channel. I link the new channel in the description down below. It's called Minty Oreo Streams. And on this channel, I will be IRL streaming from YouTube. Um, I'll also have highlight compilations that will be posted on there for you guys to check out if you missed any of my streams. I thought I would separate the two because I know some people, they prefer to watch my videos more than my streams and that's completely okay. I know not everybody is interested in sitting in streams for a really long time. I got life to live. Live your life, y'all. I thought something like that would be good since I don't have a backup channel. I definitely can understand where a balance is very healthy. You gotta do your best and do what you can. And that's what I stand for at least, is being my best self and, and doing what I can because I can't do any more than that. It's, it's not as useful at that point. It's not what you can do anymore, right? Before I conclude the end of this video, I would like to give a shout out to Emma Butler, who stands as a symbol that tomorrow does come if you're willing to wither the storm. Stay strong, Emma. Much love. Much love to everybody else up in here who has watched the whole video to the end. Comment. Waffle. diddly that shout out i was supposed to do a long ass time ago but i'm so happy i could finally do it now ah. and then i'm gonna do a special thanks to the patreon contributors you are literally why i have a new microphone right now Took me a while to figure out how to maneuver this microphone, but you know I got it. It's good. I may have I may have had to do a bajillion sound checks and mess up a bajillion times, but you know it's okay. I got it. It's great. Yay, manual sound. Ooh, learning. Mm, yes. Oh yeah.
Ooh. Ooh, there's videos floating around me right now if you want to check out more videos. But if you don't, it's okay too. You know, you just go back on, go back doing your day. You live that day. You live that best life. I love the living hell out of you, fam. Yeah.